Hey everybody and welcome back to Diva Styles. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I created these uh, table displays. Because as I told you guys I have a, a, a little vendors event coming up at the end of this month. And I was looking for some ways to display my jewelry. But you guys it was like everything was so expensive and I was like I don't got time for that. Don't have time for that. So, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I make, well, this one, I actually got two of these. This one, I created using uh, two pieces of foam board from Dollar Tree. And, of course, I'm going to make another one of these uh, bigger ones, though. But the bigger one came from one of these uh, tri-fold foam display boards that I just got from I probably Walmart. I don't know. But all you're going to need is either, you know, the foam sheets or uh, that, the foam board, some duct tape. And when I first started these, you guys, I actually took these, um, these clips came from Dollar Tree. I asked somebody working there if I could, you know, like have them because there was nothing hanging on them. And they told me, yeah. But then, y'all, I started needing too many of them, so I actually bought some on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. But, yeah. So, let's get into it. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have done the border. And I'm working on uh, the bottom part. You guys, I ran out of the rainbow duct tape. But, anyways, I wanted to show you... Um, how I do it, I only put like half of the duct tape on it. That way I can tuck the rest of it uh, underneath. And then right here on the fold, I uh, stop. that's where I pretty much stop the duct tape. So that you can still be able to um, crease it. And that's what we're left with when we're done. So now for this next part, we're going to need the glue gun and the... Um, this, what is them things called? The display holders. Alright you guys. I actually had to go out to the store. I could not find the ones that I had bought. But as you can see. I've started cutting them up already. Um, so all you're going to do. Let me take it off of the hook. Move these out of the way. So all you're going to do is just cut it like right in the middle. Just like so. And then you're going to keep doing that for all of them. And from there you want to um, measure about how far down you're going to put it. Um, I'm probably going to start mine about right here. That way, if I want to put a sign right here, I can put a sign. I can put prices. Um, and then I'm going to space them probably about two inches apart. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start. I'm just going to put some glue um, along the edges of it, just on the edges. And then I'm going to put it up there. And this is pretty much how it's going to look if you continue doing that. And like I said, um, do these like every other, like for your next, for your next row. But I think these are so cute, you guys. I uh, took drawings that my daughter had did and turned them into earrings. Look at that. So cute. I love them. I'm going to go through her uh, her little drawing book again and uh, take her images and turn them into turn them into some earrings, you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a really simple, quick uh, display that you could do for your jewelry, your earrings, and like I said, hey, even the um, even keychains. This is. These are some keychains that my uh, daughter has made. She does keychains. Where's the little, all the little stuff at? Yeah. So, all right. I hope this was helpful. 
and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!